Hey guys, so, uh, sorry I went off on a massive tangent on the last one. Um, if you're skipping that video, that's totally fine. Um, what I've done is I've separated out what we had before into a new file. Um, if you've continued on before, that's fine. Just remember that everything's going to basically, from this point on, be a different uh, function or procedure in our menu. So what we had before um, was our encryption. And that was taking our value and changing it into the equivalent in here. So A would become C, B would become X, and uh, C would become V, and so on. And then we print it out. So we want to be able to go the other way as well. And to do that, that's going to be D. So when we decrypt, we want to go backwards. Now, that's actually not as easy as going forwards. Um, so we're going to have to be using an algorithm here called a linear search, which we'll get to in a second. So anyway, we're going to take our cipher. Now again, let's let's make a little thing above just so that we can work with, um, so that we can get an idea of what's going on. So let's say our cipher is, um, well, in fact, let's make one. So A, B, C, D becomes C, X, V, E. So C, X, V, E is my cipher. Now, I want to take the first character of that cipher. Now, in Python has nicer ways to do this, but for me, and for IGCSE, we're going to do for x in range 0 to the length of the cipher. Okay, and then what we're going to get from that is the cipher, now these are terrible variable names, but character, okay, the psi character, that sounds kind of cool. So psi character, is going to be equal to the cipher at position x, oops, cipher at position x. Okay, so this is our cipher. So cy character, well, let's maybe just write it here, cipher equals, so that means that cy character is going to equal, first time is going to equal c. Okay, now what I have to then do is look up the cipher character in my key. So I'm going to have to go through every character in here and find which position is that letter in. So for example, C is in position 0. B is in position 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, is in position 7. And that's called our index. Okay, so let's call that our CY index. Now, how do we get that? Well, we're going to have to use a little um, algorithm called a linear search. And that's going to involve a second for loop. So we can't use x this time because we've used x already. So let's use y this time. So for y in range, and we're going to start at 0, and we're going to go until the end of this, so 0 until the length of the key. I'm going to say if the character equals the key at position y, then we found it. So then I can say that the cy index is equal to y. Okay, so that means that c is 0, so the cy index would be 0. If I looked up um, bah, 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 if I looked up e, e would be 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so the cy index would then become equal to that. So c is, as we said, is 0, so it's going to be in position 0. So I probably shouldn't start it with c, but still, go with it. Okay, now, now that I've got its index, I need to change it back to the Unicode. 
Now, again, we're not dealing with Unicode today, so we're going to have to deal with that if you've no idea what Unicode and ASCII are. But we already said that 97 is the Unicode for the first letter, which is a small a. So if I wanted to change the index to be the Unicode, I would then have to add... So once I've found, so once I've gone through it all, da, 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 I can add a break in here, I'm not going to add a break. Um, so once I've found it all, I can then say that the CY Unicode is going to be equal to the index that I found it at. Now this is making a massive assumption that I found whatever they've entered, but uh, okay, we can deal with that there. Plus 97. So C is zero, so plus 97 should then become equal to an A. So the CY Unicode is going to be equal to 97. And that means that my plain text character is going to equal an A. So how do I convert from the plain text character Well, I use CHR and I put in the Unicode value into that. Okay, now that's only for one letter, so I then have to remember to append that to my. Uh, I could use plain text, I'm just going to call it new plain text just so that my code doesn't get messed up. So I'm going to call it new pt equals new plain text plus the new character that I have found. Now, fingers crossed, if I then print my new plain text, and this is a very fingers crossed, um, it should then give me what the original cipher that was printed above it is. Okay, so let's see. So A, B, C, X, Y, Z. So again, it's always good to check the boundaries. Oh, oh, new PT is not defined. That's not good. Okay, so da -da -da. here I've said new PT equals new PT. And there isn't anything called new PT, so it's going to cause an error there. So that was bad on my part. So before we run anything, we should say new PT equals nothing. Okay, let's try again. Now, okay, don't worry about errors. There's nothing wrong with getting errors in code. Um, that's just how we learn stuff. And it's one of the good things about computers uh, is that we can run stuff again and again and again. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so our cipher is going to be the same as before. But then when I decrypt it, it's converting it back into the original message. Yay, big success. All right, so um, that's our decrypt method. Uh, now, again, if you've not bothered with the functions thing from the last part, uh, you might just want to skip this next bit, but um, so I could then, but for those of you who did do it, I could then take this decrypt part and I could take it and I could go to my bigger code and it's really good to pull in stuff as, as like individual blocks. Don't, don't try and code everything in the same place, it just makes a mess. Yeah, do it modulary, modulary, decrypt. Okay, and that's going to take the cipher and it's going to take the key as well. I'm going to put that into my function. And I need to indent everything. Remember control square bracket for Windows people or I think just tab for Mac people. I'm not a big fan of Macs, but it should work. Okay, and then it's going to print the new uh, thing down here, or I could possibly return it. Um, let's just print it for now. Okay, so instead of saying printing, sorry, that's not available yet, I can now call 
my decrypt function from up here. Oh, and I need to include plain text and key, otherwise bad. Because I remember these parameters have to match these parameters up here. Whoops. I don't want to take in plain text. I want to take in cipher. Okay, so I'm going to take in the cipher. Now, when I actually output my cipher here for the encrypt, I didn't actually return it. I just printed it. So what I could possibly do is print it and then return it. And then I could have cipher here um, or I could ask them to type the cipher okay no sorry sorry I'm, I'm causing chaos here so I can deal with the returns and stuff later um, what we can do is we can generate it and then we can just ask them to input it again if they want to do it that way again we, we're going to deal with it as text files and stuff later so it's not a big deal and that's going to be cipher okay it's going to be decrypt. So fingers crossed now, if I run this, it should. What would you like to do? I would like to decrypt. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. no. Let's encrypt first. I would like to encrypt. Uh, hello. Uh, uh, what can I do? Hello. World. Now, I'm not going to do spaces yet because my program can actually deal with spaces, something we need to work on, um, but it's easy enough to deal with spaces here. Okay, and that's going to be that. Okay, so that's my cipher. I'm going to take that cipher and I would like to decrypt it. Oops. I'd like to decrypt it. I'm going to paste it in there. And that did not work at all. Oh dear. Okay, so what have I done wrong? Bum, bum, bum. Oh, now I've lost my code and everything. Okay, so decrypt the cipher with the key. Decrypt the cipher with the key. And for the cipher, I'm going to take it, I'm going to look it up in the key, da da da, and I'm going to print it out. Okay. I don't know what's happened there, so hopefully I can just scare the crap off some of this video. There we go.